list, and it uh, doesn't look like looking over at Aaron's uh, list, I don't think we have any way to get rid of stadiums once they come into play. Yeah, yeah. I, I assume his strategy is he's going to set up a couple of Metagrosses, Metagrosses one-shot everything on Beckett's board, he runs four max potions, he's just going to try to manage the damage on the board, and just, you know, get out a bunch of Metagrosses and win. And right away we see that Shrine of Punishments coming into play. Nestball finds a, uh, gets him a Buzzwell and Slugma into play. Lily going to draw uh, five cards off the top. And he's got the Macargo for next turn. He even he's got a started the Sneasel turn. as well. He's got an energy he can attach. See where he wants to put that. Looks like he's actually just going to be content passing here for the yeah, turn. I, I think he's not going to risk the incredibly unlikely chance that the, the is knocked out or the buzz will get knocked out. Why, yeah. why attach now? When all of his attackers are one energy attackers. Yep, all energy, uh, all, all attackers are one energy. I mean, you could no theoretically, you could, could theoretically power up swing around on Buzzwool, but swing around's not going to do very much to the uh, 250 HP of Metagross. That's going to be mostly f against things like Zoroark decks. Yeah, I mean, frankly, I haven't seen a swing around all day. Okay. Have you? I think we did. Did you see, did you see one yesterday? We we saw several like be set up where like they had two energies and it was now a threat that had to right, be dealt with. Right. Yeah, so. But I, I never saw somebody actually uh, get there. So we see a uh, nest ball brings down another Beldum and a Stevens Resolve right away. Gonna set up at least one Metagross on the next turn. Yeah. And uh, once again, uh, Beckett has no hand refresh capability. This Stevens Resolve is just gonna stick. Yep. Uh, it's not a bad way to go. I wonder if Aaron may target down the Celestial Storm Metagross. That is a one prizer and can swing for a decent amount of damage if you get it going in consecutive turns. Does attack for just one energy card, and he could use his other Steven's Resolve to keep getting set up potentially. What's the damage output on that Metagross? So it does 60 damage, right. and then if you use it in consecutive turns, it does 120. Gotcha. So it does gotcha. 60, then 120, 120, 120, 120. Got that kind of sword stancy madness yep. to it. Looks like a mag cargo comes into play for Beckett right away. Yeah. A switch as well has a little bit of mobility if he wants it. He has an ultra ball. Uh, I assume he's going to play the switch to protect the Weavile until abilities come into play. He's going to attack with the Buzzwell this turn. Right? Yeah, at the same time though, it's like fairly unlikely that this uh, Weavile would ever get knocked out. But I think he definitely wants to start putting pressure on. Uh, to this Beldum. I mean, hitting for uh, hitting for. I mean, I'm, I'm assuming years that good. Aaron is going to rare candy Metagross the active. If he if he gets an energy into the discard and attaches, he can hit for 150. He right? could, but then in that instance, he's not like set up his board at all, right? Like yeah. he needs more Metagross in play. I, I think he wants well, the algorithm. If yeah, he, that's, if he does that, he's going to say his algorithm. Let's get five cards. It's going to be a rock star. Yeah, we'll almost certainly see an algorithm next turn from Aaron. But yeah. over here on Beckett's side, he is ultra balling. I don't know what he wants to get here. He could maybe get Deancey Prism Star. Looks like it's going to be a Rangaroo, though. Wants to just draw some more cards. And, you know, he does have that Smooth Over combo available to him. So Instruct plus Smooth Over can get a lot of cards. Yeah, he's going to switch and hit, just start chipping with the Buzzwell. It's going to take a lot of uh, damage to kill a Metagross. Actually can do 50 here to the Beldum, which is pretty good. Can set it up and... Um, yeah, definitely a really solid solid setup. Chipping away a little bit, maybe forcing Aaron to use max potions before he would want to necessarily, um, which can put a lot of pressure on Aaron. Looks like it's going to be a Cynthia, though. Hasn't played a supporter yet. Wants to opt for a supporter uh, to yeah. off of this Instruct. Off these six cards off the Cynthia. Um, I don't think there's really anything that could find a knockout turn one on this Beldum. It would be the Beast Energy, but he's already attached an Energy for turn. Could have had Kakui plus the uh, the DNC Prism Star, but Cynthia's a supporter for turn, so that's not quite going to work out. Right. Off of the six, probably going to be looking for more basics. At least maybe another Buzzwool. Something along those lines. Probably another Sneasel as well. Wants to have multiple Weavile set up. We do see a 3-2 line, so you want just multiple Sneasels in play. Also has a copy of Rescue Stretcher, so you can reuse them if need be. There's a Weavile. I don't see a Sneasel, though. Pseudo Wudo could be interesting. Limit Aaron's set up a little bit. Uh, you know, when I was looking at the deck list, I was wondering just how impactless it would be. I mean, I obviously... He's going to be able to, I think in this matchup, kind of get where he's trying to get to, just three Metagross. But 
but if he wants to get the Solgaleo out, if he wants to get uh, a Tapu Lele out too, I mean, he'd like to have the extra bench space. Yeah, and I, th I mean, one thing that Beckett is also probably considering as well is this also makes it one less ability that my opponent puts it, like is able to put in play potentially. But you also have to consider, you know, Aaron's here at the win and in. He's probably very conscious of what Weavile's attack does. He's going to be uh, very cognizant of how he wants to play it. And look at this, two stage ones right away, as well as a rare candy into Metagross, and I have a feeling we're going to see an algorithm very soon. Metal attach for the turn. Does he have a supporter card? Looks like Judge. That's pretty good to disrupt Beckett a little bit and see a couple more cards. Maybe looking for another Beldum. Probably a Cosmog as well would be good from Aaron. I wonder if he just got three Metagross in play and didn't even worry about Sigalia or anything else, if that would be a good strategy. Yeah, yeah. That, like, I, I wonder how important switching that, that switch effect is in this matchup. I mean, given that he's just going to be able to one-shot everything on the board with uh, Metagross. Yeah, it's definitely a little extra to use Sigalio's attack of uh, Sunsteel Strike to do 232 to yeah. a Buzzwell win. Giga Hammer for 150 does this accomplishes the same yeah, thing. And, and obviously the switch effect is super cute. Sure. But I don't know that you need the switch effect. Yeah, if you have three Metagross up, you, you have a lot of mobility just because of being able to retreat every single turn, right? Yeah, and I think the only, the only situation where the switch effect is super useful in this is the... Guzma's up a naked Metagross. Yeah, for and he sure. doesn't have enough energy in the discard Absolutely. to accelerate it. So we do see the algorithm. 10 damage ticked because of the Shrine of Punishment. So we're just going to see that keep ticking away. No way to remove stadiums in Aaron's deck list. So we're going to see how he wants to set up this matchup. I've got to imagine he's getting at least one Metagross, maybe like another energy card, something like that. Could also get like Ultra Ball so you can discard the energies and still find the Metagross. You know what's interesting is even the stall out play isn't super effective in nature of the way this match was built because because there's always shrine damage, he could just max potion the Metagross on the bench to discard all the energy off it. Sure. Right. So he has he has some uh, like kind of cutesy outs to uh, any sort of uh, stall out strategy or strategy where he's trying to two hit Metagross and have energy. So there we go. We see five cards chosen on the algorithm. And Beckett is just going to have to live with the fact that Aaron got to pick five cards yeah, out of his deck last yeah. turn. If you guys are wondering if Aaron's going to have a great turn next turn, <laughs> it's going to be an extraordinary turn. Absolutely. He is going to go absolutely bananas. So Beckett has a nest ball. We'll have to see what they get with this. Uh, you know, it's, it's interesting that he kind of starts with the Stevens resolve because he's kind of testing whether or not they're going to try to reset his hand, like how hard they're willing to go to work to try to disrupt his hand. Because you, you knew he got three awesome cards off the Stevens Resolve. Sure. And then when they didn't disrupt him, he's like, now I'm going to algorithm. It's going to be fantastic. I mean, he's had back-to-back -back turns where he's picking all of his favorite cards out of the deck and putting them in his hand. Uh, uh, that's a recipe for explosive uh, starts. So we see Kikui as well as the Deancey Prism Star. Uh, he hasn't played the Kikui. It is in his hand, though. Um, smooth over coming out first. And can Kikui into whatever card this is? Looks like he's eyeing up that unit energy... Uh, with the fairy, dark, and fighting types on it. So great use for this deck, being able to use that and uh, use it for f uh, Buzzwell's Sledgehammer as well as Weavile's Evil Admonition. Yeah, I think that's... We, we've, seen, we've seen the Buzzgarb Shrine decks. We've seen the Buzz uh, Weavile Shrine decks. Uh, I think this unit en energy is a super cute combo because when you have to use a rainbow energy on a Buzzwell, you put it in range of variety's beating. Mm, sure. But when you're using the unit energy... You can power up Weaviles and power up Buzzwalls, but you don't take the uh, the 10 damage, which is meaningful. Sure. So we'll probably just see uh, Sledgehammer here doing a decent amount of damage after the Kakui plus DNC uh, with the Choice Band and the Shrine of Punishment's tick as well. Lots of damage on that Metagross here. Yeah, but I assume we're going to see Metagross, Metagross, Max Potion, Energy, Knockout, because easy. Yeah, you could even see him attach the energy to the active, retreat into a clean Metagross completely, uh, or just even max push in the active and then triple uh, triple Geotech system. Pretty good as well. Going to go ahead and discard a Rare Candy. I think at this point, he's got three Metagross in play. Uh, rare Candy is not really a useful card anymore. Yeah. Can be good to get a fourth Metagross if he needs it, or even setting up that uh, Solgaleo GX. I think I think he's not going to set up the Solgaleo because it, sure. it feeds into the Weavile. No, I agree. It's like, why get more uh, abilities on the board if I only let the Weavile hit for 150? That's just like uh, the Buzzwolves. He's super vulnerable to my max potion plays. 
Yeah, there could be a scenario where if the Weaviles from Beckett get knocked out and Aaron knows he's safe at some point or safe later on in a turn, uh, could use that. We're going to see a Guzma here, though. He Max potions, potions, gets rid of that uh, energy, energy acceleration. triple geotech system, and he targeted down the Mag Cargo. Mag Cargo, of course, really important for this deck's, you know, consistency uh, to have draw power and... Um, uh, that's just totally taken off the board for Beckett. I think Aaron has his ideal setup in this matchup. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the fact that he started the Beldum and Beckett was not able to just randomly luck into Beast Energy Deancey and uh, take a knockout immediately has, uh, has allowed Aaron to just get amazing setups. I mean, a as we said prior to that turn, he was going to have a great turn. Absolutely. <laughs> It's like his turn was almost as good as if he picked all the cards out of his deck he wanted exactly. to play. Exactly. He seemed to have every card he needed that turn. <laughs> How could that be? <laughs> so now we see this Weavile active. It's hitting for 180 with Evil Admonition, which is a lot of damage for just one energy. But it's not going to be quite enough to take out this Metagross. I wonder if we may see Beckett try to buy a turn here using Icy Wind on Weavile. Would still do 40 damage. Uh, and after Shrine takes, that actually could get him set up to take a knockout on the Metagross on the next turn if Aaron stayed asleep. So I, I think Icy Wind could be an interesting play what, here. So what does Icy Wind's effect? So, so it does 10 sleep. damage and then it puts the Pokemon to sleep. Yeah. So he'd have to flip heads to wake up. It looks like we're just going to go no. ahead and go with a swing, do a lot of damage, and now the pressure is on Aaron. I've got to find a max potion this yeah, turn. Yeah, he's not, he's not going to risk flipping to find out whether or not he needs to make Aaron burn a max potion. He's going to instead uh, just hit as hard as he can and see where it gets Ooh, him. Ooh, there it he's is. He's got the max potions. Triple Geotech system once again. Has an energy to attach on the bench to Metagross as well if he wants to. And a Cynthia as well this turn. He's he's just going to totally refresh his hand. Actually, oh, a Hala, one, in a, Hala. one up in the Cynthia. It's about time we saw a Hala played at this tournament. We told you guys it was coming, and it's <laughs> blingy and looks beautiful. That nice orange full art Hala. Shuffling in, drawing seven cards because Algorithm GX I feel like I'm used. watching Trainer Chip's YouTube channel. The cards are so beautiful <laughs> and full art and blingy. Seven cards there. Here we go. Getting full value after that Algorithm. Absolutely. And still has access to all three Geotech system abilities. I think uh, he's looking to potentially bench another Beldum this turn. Uh, you know, there's... Always, like, it doesn't hurt you to have the Beldum in play. You want to have access to getting another Metagross if one does somehow go down or something like that. So could look to get that in play, but he's not in any rush as it comes down. Yeah. There we go. Giga Hammer, 150. They're on the Sledgehammer turn. Sledgehammer. So he can do a lot of damage. Uh, Beckett with the Sledgehammer. Let's see if he can maybe find Beast Energy Prism Star to boost it even more. He would need to find a way to do 210 damage then the Metagross would go down to the Shrine uh, I just of Punishment. There's any way, even with a complete choice ban. We saw last game a Lycan Rocket knocked out with a Sledgehammer Beast Energy choice ban. Cook we play. Yeah. It was 200 right on the money. I just can't think of a scenario where he's able to squeeze out that extra 10. Uh, yeah. Actually, Six if he ago, was. So, so he actually could do it. Uh, since he's on Sledgehammer turn, he's doing base 120 damage. Uh, if Beckett was able to find his Beast Energy Prism Star. And then use Kakui as well as Deancey. That actually boosted up That's to 80. That'd be no 220. It's base 120 damage, not base 30 right, damage. Right, uh, right, right. It's 120 plus the 30 from the Beast plus mm -hmm. the 30 from the Choice. Yes, yeah, so plus that's, the 20 from the Kukui. So it's 150. Uh, 150 after the Beast Energy plus 180 after the plus 20. Yes, plus 20. 200. Yeah, plus 20 is 220. No, no, no. No, you, you, you were only we were only at the 20. Okay, uh, I'll have beast, to take your word. We'll see what happens. He does beast, have the Beast Energy choice, in his hand. Beast Choice Kukui is 80, right? He's doing the math himself right now. Um, but 150 plus 180, so so he does so he does 120 base, plus 30 for Choice Bands, that's 150. Right. Plus 30 for Beast Energy, that's 180. Right. Plus 20 for DNC, that's 200. Oh, the DNC. Plus 20 for Kukui, that's All 220. Right, so he well does have the knockout. He was able to Kukui right. into it. And All there right. we go, taking down this Sean Metagross. What's up? Yep. Acro Bike as well. Doesn't even need that Shrine of Punishment's damage. It's just going to get knocked out. But it's good that Shrine was in it play because so it, it it ticked up that damage. I, I, I did not have the Deancey in my math. I'm bad at Pokemon. There we go. Taking the KO. And uh, Aaron's going to want to find another Metagross. It's a good thing he attached that energy last turn, though, because now yeah. he, since he only has two Geotech systems, he yeah. can still um, he can still Clearly he's been testing his matchup a lot because he knew 
that he needed that Beldum. He knew he needed to attach that energy. He was ready for this turn. Yep. So we'll see if he can find another Metagross or not. <clears throat> Does still have two Max Potions left. Has used two already. And those are precious, precious resources in this specific matchup. See Aaron kind of counting out, thinking through his turns. Burning the Choice Band, that's kind of a dead card at this point in the matchup. He just wants to not draw it. Exactly. Just the just Band out. Yep. That, does that imply he's going to Cynthia in a second? He definitely could. I mean, there's no reason not to just go ahead and put it in play, though. He runs though. Lily, too. He could be thinning his hand for a Lily, but he's Absolutely. definitely going to do one of those two things. All right, so we'll see Aaron checking through this discard pile. And uh, Beckett's going to do the same, you know. You yeah. look at mine, I'll look at yours. We'll, we'll see what each other has used, what resources do we have available to the rest of this game. I, I'm sure the chat is a, a Twitter with, you show me mine, I'll show me yours. And uh, got a card he's debating on playing here. I wonder what that could yeah, be. Yeah, show us, Aaron. Come on, don't keep the suspense. The suspense is building. Looks like it's just going to be a Cynthia. <laughs> <laughs> so he has what he needs to get a knockout on the Buzzwool. I'm not sure really what else he wants to do to advance his board this turn. And he'd um, like to rare candy Metagross, I assume. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, as far as like benching anything else, like he yeah. he could just get the Cosmog in play. It doesn't really hurt anything. Like if he draws into it, there's no reason not to just go ahead and bench it. Because um, you you know you even though you might not ever get Sogalio out, it doesn't really hurt you to have it in yeah. play. And there's there's a, a rare candy in his hand and an Ultra Ball. He can get another Metagross here. Yeah. Uh, con conversely, uh, yeah, I don't think it matters if he gets the Metagross out because the Weavile's two hitting either way, mm -hmm. right? With the Shrine damage on the board right now. So actually something that Aaron could do, we're going to see the Nest Ball come out. Uh, Aaron could not put a Metagross in play and then attack this turn uh, with the two Geotech systems, take a knockout. Then he can next turn retreat into what would be a fresh Metagross, since he has ra uh, Rare Candy plus Ultra Ball in his hand, that hasn't taken any damage from Shrine. Right. And I don't think Beckett has any way, after being off Sledgehammer turn, to do 230 damage he would need to do to knock out yeah. after Shrine yeah. takes. I, could, I, I, I can only assume his plan is to attack with Weavile next turn. Uh, um, once that Weavile goes down, he just does not have a lot of strong attackers left. Yeah, he I runs think a three-two uh, Weavile line. He does. Yep, and yeah. he has one copy of Rescue Stretcher as well. So, not even a lot of ways to get it back as they go down. Um, we could definitely see. I, I don't know. I think we may have to see like an icy wind, something like that, to try to buy turns. Like you need to use these niche attacks sometimes in order to to try to get a little lucky if things aren't going quite your way. I think the challenge is like what he needs is to be able to attack w without Weavile to preserve Weavile for future turns. Mm -hmm. See a draw. No energy cards yet for Beckett. Does have that rescue stretcher in hand. Could shuffle back the Weavile line that's been knocked out. We, we talked about how I've seen, I haven't seen a sledgehammer today. I mean, powering up a Rangaroo with this kind of deck is impractical. Sh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> but, but shipping with uh, you know sledgehammer for 80, and you're four hitting. Uh, although Shrine will help to get there in three hits. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a hard way to go. And you're just kind of hoping at this point maybe Aaron isn't able to find those max potions, things like that. Um, I, I think that's kind of what Beckett has to do, maybe. He maybe like he has kind of two lines of play, right? He can try to buy turns with Icy Wind at some point if he needs to, or just hit and hope Aaron does not find max potion in consecutive turns. Yeah. So we're going to see uh, six cards off of this Cynthia. We see the Regirock from Celestial Storm, an interesting inclusion. Uh, Acrobike here. Sees an energy card. Also a supporter, though. Going to have to be a costly discard here, I think. Yeah, going to just get rid of that yeah. Lily. Which is fine. Like, you've got a pretty big hand anyway. Right. Probably going to bench the Regirac just to have an alternate attacker after this Buzzwool goes down. Yeah, I don't think he wants to. I don't, he may want to save that spot for something like another Slugma or even the Sneasel. But no, he's going to go ahead and put I it mean, down. I think the challenge Beckett has is, like, when you're trying to plan, when you're trying to map your prizes, I just don't know how you take four prizes with the attackers on board. Yeah, you're able to get You've one gotta find the stretcher down, and, and put back. Uh, um, yeah, so a fair bit of stuff. We do know Aaron has an Ultra Ball plus a Rare Candy in his hand, so we can get a clean Metagross with no damage on it in play. Uh, but from here, I mean, 
it's still just looking tough for Aaron, uh, for, for Beckett if Aaron is able to find a max push in this turn. I think that's kind of what Beckett has to hope for. Maybe Aaron whiffs a max potion for one turn. Looks like he's debating what to Ultra Ball right now. Yeah, throws away the Choice Ban. Throws away the uh, Cosmog. I, I think it looks... Yeah, it looks like a Cosmog. That's fine. Could be the Delmize, actually. I'm not sure. Could be the, could be the Delmize. <laughs> Uh, Delmize actually could be a solid one prize attacker. I mean, it does have an ability, so it's not the best to put in play against a Weavile deck, but it can knock out Buzzwolves pretty easily, doing 70 damage with Anchor Shot. So, uh, checking through the deck. Looks like it's going to be a Lele, actually. I think he must not have a Max Potion, and that's what he's digging for here. Oh, maybe not. He's, he's going he's to take the Weavile off the board. Yeah, this, this is, is actually a, really smart. No more, no more hey, letting you have threats. You're going to see him retreat into the Tapu Lele, then we'll use Guzma. was using that retreat in order to get the energy in the discard so he can use Geotech System to power this new Metagross up. And it's going to be tough for Beckett to come back from that play, I think. Yeah, yeah. And Aaron doesn't care how many abilities he has in play if Beckett uh, doesn't have any Weaviles out. Yeah, yeah, if there's no Sneasels on the board, it's going to be hard. Uh, I'm sure Beckett's thinking, what are my win conditions? Put one. Oh, one's got to go on the Lele. Yep. We got to get one on the Lele as well. Hopefully they catch that soon. Some high quality judging here in the uh, commentating booth. Yep. We got it on lock. Uh, we'll see if we can. Trainer ship's going to go. Oh, we're good. Let people know what's up. Well, sh there should be uh, just 10 more damage on the Tapu Lele, but we'll see if we can get that fixed right away. 10 damage from the Shrine of Punishments. No big, easy fix. But on Beckett's turn, he did send up that Red Rock. There we and go. And here it comes. That was not Trainer Chip's hand. <laughs> Very attractive hand, but not. Oops. And uh, we've got Beckett here has the Rescue Stretcher in hand. Could put back, um, you know, the one Sneasel and two Weavile since he does play a three-two line. Yeah, There's yeah, I, one Sneasel in the deck still. But I, I thought what was interesting was I was going to say he wanted to wait until the Weavile was dead before he plays the Rescue Stretcher because mm -hmm. he needs to put both Weaviles back in deck. I think we're seeing and making sure that there is enough damage on the. Binged Metagross, maybe. It looks like we are good, though. I think he's just trying to figure out what his line of play is. Like, it's like, what are my outs to win at this point? Do I have any? Should I scoop and go to the next game? Yeah, I honestly, mean, this, only this is... only 30 minutes left. Uh, I don't know if there's a line of play that gets me there. This is definitely looking tough. Knocking out two Metagross seems hard. He does have a Guzma, though, but not really a good way to deal a lot of damage to that Metagross. Yeah, he says, let's pull up that... Heavily damaged Metagross. And, and this is where he could stall for a turn if Aaron's unable to find a way to switch or a way to get energies in the discard. Kind of what you were talking about earlier on in this game. Right, right. but if he has a max potion, he can just max potion off and sure. keep hitting. Now he's, he gets the stretcher. Gonna put back Weavile. Actually gonna put back Sneasel. Yeah, he's thinking. Yeah, I think I would maybe put back the two Weaviles and the one Sneasel, unless he prized one of his Sneasels. That's, that's, the, that's the key question. Yeah. I, I can only assume that he prized one of his Sneasels. Yeah, because... because there's no reason for you to uh, I try to give yourself lots of outs to Sneasels for the one Weavile you have. Yep. So there we go. So he's going to try and hit into this thing, pray that it's stuck, and he can kill it next turn. And then he'll say, now I can just, like, get a Weavile and hopefully... Find a line of play that lets me squeeze out two prizes after that. Lots of damage there on the Metagross yeah. after the Shrine of Punishments. Looks like it's up to 220. So could go down next turn. Aaron looking desperately for a Max Potion, I think. And what's interesting is he needs to Max Potion the bench to Energy Accelerate to the active. Yeah, he could play his last two Max Potions this one turn, which I think he would... But if he only has one potion, where would you play it? What, what's... What's the strategy? It honestly depends on the rest of his hand. Like, does he have a way to attack this turn? That's, yeah, I think, I think you have more important than turn, healing, right? honestly, is taking a knockout this turn. Agree 100%. There's a rare candy. Gets a... Ooh, the Celestial Storm Metagross comes out. Do you get a Steven's Resolve for a max potion here? It only oh, no. works oh, when this Metagross is active. active. Yep. active. Yeah, and Beckett wants to read it real fast, Beckett's make sure like, he knows what, what it does. What the heck is that? <laughs> He's the yeah. same as me. He's like, I don't know what that card does. It also has 170 HP, so it's, it's a pretty tanky Pokemon as a one prizer. This um, is a card that's brand new to the format, and, and as we see in Metagross, is not a super common meta deck uh, at this tournament, so I don't think people have been tracking what a uh, Metagross does. 
Yeah, there was an, actually another Metagross that was doing pretty well in day two. John Orgel was playing Metagross Ultra Necrozma, actually kind of an interesting list right, as well. Right. He unfortunately lost his round 14, so I think he's playing out for top 16 right now. There is a max potion that is huge for Aaron. Looks yeah, like he chose he must, to do he it on the active. energy in hand after coming out of that to allow him to keep attacking. Beckett says, oh, why am I trying so hard? <laughs> Dismayed that he finds the max potion off of that. Uh, did he Checking must have the discard. energy in the discard? Maybe. He needs an energy from oh, he's hand. Got two. He's got two. He needs one from hand as well. No, no, because he can accelerate. He can energy accelerate from the active in the bench. It's two, and he already has one on the. He doesn't have one on. Oh, he, he needs one, one in on his there? hand as oh. well. Yeah. Can't tell if he has it or not. Just one. There's one geotech system. Oh, is he just threatening to retreat next turn? Ooh, looks like it just has yeah. to be a pass. Yeah, so he's just going to threaten to uh, be able to do his thing next turn since he's with the energy. But as you said, yeah, whiffing the energy is painful. So we see a Cynthia shuffle draw six. I think Beckett's definitely going to be looking to bench a Sneasel here and hope Aaron cannot take it out. Yeah. Got a, we're assuming he has a 2-1 Sneasel line left in deck, right? Yeah, 2-1, the but I am theoretically one in the prizes. Yeah, because theoretically there's one in the prizes. He also, he but I mean, he also could have rescue stretchered back the three... Uh, or the two Sneasel, just because he wants to have higher odds to draw Sneasel. Like, he cares more yeah. about getting Sneasel than getting two uh, Weavile's out of this game. I just game. think he cares more. I think he needs Weavile's. I don't know how he gets there. Well, with only two prizes left on Aaron's side, he might not even ever be able to use two Weavile's, so... Um, uh, you. Yeah, that's fair. He's yeah. going to kill the Buzzwall, and then if he kills the second Weavile, it's yep. game over anyway. Yep, so I think he just wanted to have the access to the Weavile yeah. in the deck. And sadly, he draws the Weavile and not the Sneasel's. Yep. <laughs> So we're going to see the hit. Got to remember those Shrine of Punishments counters. Yeah. Aaron's like, you're the Shrine guy. It's your job to keep track of these things <laughs> for me. There's a Max Potion in Aaron's hand, so we'll see if he can maybe pull oh, something off with that. It is his last see, one, I, though. I think the trick is he doesn't want to do that right now. So the, the good news is because the Sneasel didn't hit the board, he's not going to threaten to hit for 150 and KO the next turn. He can just accelerate two Metal Energies, knock out the Buzzwool, and he's not going to get KO'd next turn, right? Yeah. The uh, well, the Retrock does do more damage than Buzzwool does. It does uh, ten more. Yeah, it does ten more. So uh, twenty plus twenty if there's a tool attached. So hitting for seventy with a Choice Band, ninety with the uh, Deancey can do up to one ten with a Kikui, uh, but that's still I'm not yeah, sure that's going to. There's yeah. not even enough damage even, in play. Even with twenty more damage from the Shrine, he's not quite going to get there before the Max Potion. Runs and up. I like this oh. from Aaron. <laughs> that's a great play. Yeah, this is going to target down the Deancey to nerf the damage output even more. Really going to limit what Beckett can do the rest of this game as we come to a close here. And yeah, if I'm Beckett, I'm, I'm kind of thinking, he's got one prize left, I have four. I don't think I can really do much here. I need my to, to try my best to win two more games. He's going he's gonna to make a Guzma play here. I assume he's going to Guzma the baby Metagross and Definitely hit it with could. A, uh, a Regirock. Yeah, I think it has three retreats, so it is a little beefy. Could be a little hard to move, and there are basically all of uh, Aaron's energy are in play. Like but says, I'm Guzming the Metagross. He says, you want to Guzma the Metagross GX, right? <laughs> no, no, not, quite, not, not quite, not quite. That's not my plan. There we go. Enhanced stop only does 40 damage. Wow. We're going to see the draw from Aaron. All he needs is a Guzma to win yeah, the game I here. he does not have the Guzma, or he would have flipped it over already. One prize remaining. It could just Geotech system. How much system. energy do I have? I mean, but even still, like, he's going to hit for 60 this turn. I, I just don't see what Beckett can ever do to come back in this. Yeah, yeah, there, there's there's no win condition left on the board. He can maybe At take two more prizes, out. but I don't think he can win the game. I mean, if, if you're Beckett and you're letting this much time tick off, are, are you trying, are you assuming you're going to be able to get a quick win next uh, game and, and work your way into a tie here? Yeah, maybe you're thinking the way I win this series is... Through a quick knockout on something like a Beldum, you can knock out a Beldum over the course of a couple turns pretty easy, or really fast with Regirock potentially, uh, with things like Kakui and Deancey. Um, so uh, maybe that's what he's got in his mind. Uh, we're just going to see a uh, Meteor Mash, I believe, is the attack. 60 damage comes out from Metagross onto the Regirock. Uh, there's the Sneasel finally from Beckett, but I think it's it's probably too little too late. He is going to be able to hit for 200 damage with Evil Admonition, but... Yeah. I mean, he can take a, he can take two prizes uh, if he wants to uh, before the game ends, but 
There's a basic uh, fighting. If he takes two prizes, Aaron takes a prize. Yeah, he's just gonna yeah. go ahead and concede. Beckett's I I, I don't even know if Beckett had. Yeah, he shows the Sneasel was in the prizes, so we get to see yeah. that. Um, yeah, I don't even know if Beckett had uh, dark energy left. I, he had used a decent amount of those unit energies, so there's a chance I, he didn't I, even have access to it. I feel like Beckett needed to move on to game two. There. I, yeah, I worry maybe so. That with Twenty minutes left in the game. He's. I mean, this is this is the winning in for top eight. You got yeah. you got to do it. We'll see how it works out, though. 20 minutes left on the clock can definitely uh, be enough time if there's two quick games. It's it's probably not enough time for two full played-out games, though. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he needs a an incredibly quick donk, and then uh, um, and then just a you know another donk or a very strong pace of play. Sure. Boy, they uh, a nice situation. We're gonna see Aaron go ahead and pile shuffle real fast. Check uh, you know to make sure you got all your so, cards. So, are are you a pile shuffler? Uh, I usually pile shuffle whenever I'm waiting for my opponent to get to the table, just uh, but like before the start of the round to make sure I have all 60, 60 of my cards. cards. Yeah. yeah, I don't do it between games personally, but I can understand people wanting to make sure their deck is fully randomized, especially whenever they're playing on stream. Uh, yeah, I, I think I'm I'm buying into the uh, uh, somewhat increasingly common conventional wisdom that you just you just rifle shuffle more, shuffle shuffle shuffle. Yeah, a lot of mashes, a lot of overhands. Yeah, yeah do some mash shuffles and uh, and you're fine. Pile shuffling of like I'm gonna sort them slightly differently. I mean, it certainly it distributes cards. Sure. But it's not. It's not like, I don't know that you really got to something magical. Yeah, uh, I think in this next game, Beckett definitely. I think, it, like we said, it's got to be a quick win, right? He's got to yeah. hope to maybe have a bad start from Aaron that he can take advantage of. Um, he has a lot of ways that he could actually knock out Beldum uh, on turn one uh, if Aaron was to just start Beldum pass. You know, yeah. there's things like Buzzwool with Kakui plus Deancey. He could get Regirock plus a Tool plus Kakui plus a Tool plus uh, I mean, Aaron had the Deancey. dream start. If he, he just needs Aaron to not start just so fire there. Yeah. Right? Like, Aaron goes first, turn one, Steven's resolve. Turn two, Algorithm. Like... The momentum his hand had every turn for those first couple of turns was uh, unstoppable. Yeah, I mean, he never had to put a Tapu Lele in play until it, he was ready to do it himself to take out the yeah. to take out the uh, Weavile with a Guzma. He, um, you know, if you can control that aspect of the game and not have to use Tapu Lele to set up with something like Steven's Resolve, um, you're going to be in a better position for yeah. sure. Yeah, I mean, natural Steven's Resolve on turn one, you can't beat that. Yeah, absolutely. Let's get back to the game action. Yeah, we're going to see what these guys are going to do in this second game of play. Beckett Pierce versus Aaron Rucker on the win and into top eight. Both of these players at 31 match points. If they win, they'll be at 34 on the bubble for top eight. Hopefully, it does look like at least two 34-pointers might miss, which is kind of crazy to say. Uh, yeah, I, I know it's almost inconceivable to imagine if you'd like look two years ago, if you told people in the future, you're going to need... 34 points to bubble. Yeah. Just try to bubble in top eight. They would be like, that is impossible. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. can't like, get 34 points at a tournament. Hey, I bet they never knew that we were going to have 78 player day twos or whatever it was today. Oh 72 players, I think. Uh, it was a so, lot so of people. So, you have a today. take on how the internet is going to react to this? Like, is this what we have to look forward to in Memphis? We'll like just, a 90 we'll day, see. 90 player cut? It's that we'll just definitely have to see what happens. Um, it, I think it's unfortunate that some players are playing today, uh, and they'll end up getting points for top 128, not even top 64 points at least. Uh, definitely is unfortunate, but you know, some would also argue that you're getting the chance to keep playing. You're getting the chance to stay in the competition. You can control, um, you know, if you get to top 64, if you get 32, so on and so forth. So, yeah, I, I, obviously, as a father of poker kids, I'm always emphasizing the like. Sure. Yeah, you know, if you're looking for a, a community where it's all about like what the reward you got when you finished, uh, there's probably card games where people are saltier when they you could sure. be a part of. But uh, <laughs> Pokemon's all about the fun. Yeah, it's definitely a friendly environment here. It looks like we are finally getting kicked back over to the all game. Right. And uh, Aaron had a pretty solid start. Got started the Vulpix actually got a Beldum down turn one. Uh, uh, or or sorry, Aaron would have gone second. So he, he's he's used Beacon and. Uh, Beckett, uh, looks like he just passed. Beckett might not have a very good hand. Double rare candy into Metagross. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. Uh, oh, you know what? What I a turn two. He can retreat this off. He Geotech system did up. He can Geotech system it with the other Metagross and can now algorithm once again. I think Beckett has, like, three choice bands in his hand. Oh, my gosh. He says, yeah, I'm algorithming. What you got? This, oh, this could be a quick second game. 
Yeah, this was not the quick game Beckett yeah, was Yeah, we were for. we were talking about how Beckett needed this to be a quick game to have a turn, chance. Turn two, <laughs> double Metagross oh algorithm. Oh, my gosh. That is not what the people wanted. Also got to throw a little shout-out to those uh, nice League uh, Cup promo rare candies that Aaron's using, the, the, <laughs> the, the promo you get for playing in League Cups. I love that Pokemon is making the promos we get for these tournaments actual good cards. Uh, you know what? I 110% agree. Yeah. The fact that they're giving you playable cards as uh, promos. Like, it, it was interesting. Last year, I was like, oh, you know what? I feel bad that we're not going to League Challenges because the League Challenge, like, cards were kind of hot. Like, they were suddenly giving out cards that were meaningful. I was like, oh, maybe we should start going to League Challenges. And now, like, oh, we have to go to League Challenges. <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> Let's go get these cards. Hey, and those, those cards, cards are, are pretty sweet. Yeah, you got Mag Cargo is the first place uh, League Challenge yeah. promo currently. And yeah. uh, even going to Pokemon League, they were giving out B-Strings not too long ago. Yeah. So lots of like good cards. The, the, all of a sudden, I'm like, wow, you know, we don't, we've historically not gone to, like, local leagues or League Challenges because – with plenty of Pokemon. We don't sure. Even, I mean, we're not even, uh, there's people way more on the grind than my family, but <laughs> we play, we feel like we play plenty of Pokemon. <laughs> I think it's also worth noting, Aaron just showed his discard pile. Uh, there are four items in it. He has not played a supporter and he has two Metagross in play. Yeah, that he's, is, he's just drawing oh, man. into it, right? We see a Nest Ball come out. Probably going to find another Beldum here. If Aaron has an Ultra Ball, he can get rid of two more Metal Energy, potentially. Oh, you know, you know what I realized? Is. So we actually, we, here's, what, here's what we actually missed in the turns that Steed Because Aaron would have gone second. So he used the Vulpix. He beaconed for the double Metagross. So yep. He had the Rare Candies in hand. Yeah, he did. Yep. Right. All right. That's that's what happened there. He he drew, he started with double Rare Candy and a Vulpix and uh, got found two Beldums and then beaconed into the Metagrosses. Exactly what you want to see times. if you're going second, honestly. Yeah, Starting bull picks. He's yeah, like, Guzma. let's kill that Sneasel. He yeah, did put two medals in the discard. Just going to take the knockout here. This is brutal if you're Beckett. Yeah, this is not the quick game he was looking for. Shrine damage does keep ticking. Uh, it does get an aggro bike. Maybe can find a supporter. It's like nothing, uh, I can I tell. He, I think he found another. Oh, he found a stretcher. Okay, so he can get the Weavile back that in play. That is not how he wanted to use the stretcher based on last game. Yeah. Like, getting one Sneasel of value out of it is tough. All right, so we see it tick up 40 damage on each of those Metagrosses. Oh, man, even at this point, though, Beckett is so far behind on board setup. Has no mag cargo able to be put in play. Uh, can get a Weavile out, but like, has nothing to follow up. It is Beckett a tough Beckett has to be go. pulling out his hair over the way this game is going. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Donna, Shh, I'm here all weekend, people. So we'll see on Aaron's side, he can retreat and then Geotech system twice. Um, uh, something, yeah. yeah. Does, does he does he have the uh, energy in hand to make the magic happen mm -hmm. here? He needs one energy. Looks like he can max potion. Hala and shuffle draw seven. Here it goes. Only yeah. plays a single copy, but we've seen him just get full value out of it in both of these games. Yeah. Man, what a cool play for this tournament. I, I wonder, you know, one, one question in the post-game interview, assuming you're interviewing Aaron, that it would be great to ask is if, when he looks back on this, would he run a second Hala? Because uh, it seems like... With the algorithm GX, as we discussed early uh, in uh, the round, the, the Hala is just fantastic. There's the metal energy he needed. We can yeah. see the retreat yeah. now. Yeah. All he was looking for with that Hala was, I need to find a metal energy. And anyone Force wondering why energy. he has to retreat every single turn, Giga Hammer's effect says that the Pokemon can't attack or can't use Giga Hammer during your next turn. So uh, because of that, he has to retreat and send up a new Metagross every single yeah. turn. So the ideal board is having three Metagross in play. Metagross has three retreat, so you can just easily cycle between Metagross. Yeah, so the ability lets you take an energy from your discard and attach it to the active. Yeah. So the idea is you retreat, discarding three energies, and then you triple Geotech system to the active, and you're streaming Giga Hammers as you cycle your Metagrosses back and forth from the bench to the active. So Beckett finally finds a supporter. It is a Lily, but uh, I mean, clogged up, but he it's just very... Lays down choice bands. Yeah, he might get um, a Slugma here. He does have Mag yeah. Cargo in hand. He finds the Mag Cargo. So he feels to pressure Cynthia. to get the Slugma, but he knows that so miserable. See what he gets. Maybe if he has a way to thin out another card. He hasn't attached an energy like he could get a Rangaroo and instruct for more, maybe. I think you want to try to set up Slugma, though. 
Yeah, it looks like he's going to try to set up that mag cargo. Yeah. I think he just feels pressure to try to get the mag cargo next turn so he can try to like unwind this horrible uh, board state a little bit and get going. So yeah, and we're just going to have to see a pass as well. And this is also unfortunate because uh, Beckett's going to lose the DNC Prism Star, which is so important for his damage output. Yeah. Attachment to the Metagross. Doesn't have the third so, yeah, Metagross if you, yet. If you had the option to Guzma the Slugma after he goes to so much trouble to get it, would you? Yeah, I think I would. Uh, he may not have that option. Oh, actually, never mind. I mean, Maybe he does. Yeah, he does. Actually, going to take out the oh, Weavile here. Just for the Weavile. You could take out some of Beckett's consistency with the the, the uh, Slugma, but you know that his main attacker in this matchup needs to be that Weavile. So. Yeah. And you're also getting off of Sledgehammer. Like, that was Beckett's Sledgehammer turn, right? Right, and He right. didn't have a Buzzwool to use it. And you can just tell Beckett is kind of defeated at Beckett's this point. Beckett's like, it's I'm going to evolve to Macargo and play Cynthia because why not? But I mean, what am I doing? Maybe he could, like, bring something up and Magma and Ring and stall like, for a I turn. I can't throw away this Weavile. It's the only Weavile I have left. I've already played my Stretcher. Hmm. Yeah, I, this is just it's real tough. Misery. Aaron's yeah, yeah. deck set up so consistently these two games, and Beckett just, man, this this set, he set up fine first game, just had the matchup not go quite his way, and you gotta feel bad. This second matchup, it just second game, just has not gone well. Yeah, this this is uh, um, we would never call this stream unwatchable because even if it was hard to watch, it'd be so easy to listen to. <laughs> The sultry tones. Oh, we see him draw like two Shrine of Punishment as well. We're going to see a Magma Ring come out, I think. Does do 20 damage. Uh, it does 10 damage, and then Metagross, of course, is weak to fire. So, so funny enough, he can do a little bit here, but <laughs> it's just not going to be. I mean, uh, actually, this does technically buy Beckett a turn. Magma Ring's effect says the opponent can't retreat. So, so retreat Aaron can't him. retreat the Metagross. He can't attack yeah. next turn. The question is, does Aaron have a good... Yeah, he did just use one, so he'd have to have back-to-back -back Guzmas, which he definitely could. Yeah, I mean, you, you could, but ha having said that, uh, Aaron's so far ahead, maybe he doesn't care. He just said, hey, I'll pass. I'm going to giga hammer that slug in a second. See a new Metagross come out. Could find a Tapu Lele to try to Guzma. Uh, he does need an energy card to, like, retreat this Vulpix or something like that, though. I don't know that he has I, any I think, in his discard. I think he's eyeing the Lele in hand. He's thinking about, is it worth being that greedy? Well, yeah, I think the big smart? thing is being able to find a way oh, to no, retreat. It's, uh, oh, it looks like it is a Cosmog. Okay. Yeah, oh, he's he's like, darn it, if he's just going to keep doing this, I'll get a uh, Sol Galeo out and give myself a switch effect. And Aaron says, I can't attack this turn. I can't retreat. I'm just going to Stevens Resolve and make my good board even better. You know what, it's it's pretty nice when you realize you can't attack this turn to say, hey, I have a Steven's Resolve in hand, I'll just roll like that. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, That's unbelievable. <laughs> 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 Going to dra grab three cards, probably some combination of Max Potion, Guzma, maybe more energies to have more in the discard pile for more mobility, something along those lines. Uh, I'm sure I'm sure Beckett's thinking, geez, I keep him from attacking, and he plays Steven's Resolve. <laughs> yeah. Any three cards out of your deck, Aaron? Feel free. It, Go ahead. It just seems like Beckett cannot get a break. We're going to see that Shrine of Punishment's damage tick up once again. I mean, if you're Beckett, I mean, he's got these are 31 points right now. He's been winning nonstop hmm. for the last, like, 36 hours. And, and here he runs into this and says, what the heck? Yeah. It's definitely a tough break. Um, but this happens at Pokemon tournaments, right? You hit bad matchups. You hit uh, decks that are just, like, a little tough to beat. You also, you know, have issues where, um, you know, sometimes you just don't draw the cards you need in the right order. Like, that was kind of the issue for Beckett this game. He just didn't really draw much of anything. Uh, and looks like we're going to see an Icy Wind. Can't use Evil Admonition because he doesn't have a Dark Energy, but can use Icy Wind and put the Metagross to sleep. Uh, not confused, should be asleep. But yeah, it's tilted the wrong way, but you guys know what we mean. Just turn your monitor on it should its be side, 10 more damage and it'll look exactly right. There you go. Okay, looks like it's going to be a flip and a tail, so he does stay asleep. It does buy Beckett a turn. But I have a feeling Aaron, with that Steven's Resolve, grabbed a Guzma probably just for grabbed fun. a Guzma. Just for fun, grab a Guzma. But this is good for Beckett, I guess, because uh, if Aaron Guzmas, he uh, can't knock out the Weavile. I see a max potion just heal all that damage. 
Rare Candy. Oh, into Sigalio GX. Oh, it he, has that Ultra Beckett's Road like, what ability. What does it do, Beckett? You know what it does. It gives you can him just see. Effect. He needs to kill that Weavile. Oh my goodness. Lots of abilities in play, but Aaron does not even care. Can't even icy wind out of anything. Oh my goodness. Uh, now that uh, his last Weavile's gone down, he's at two prizes. Beckett says, "Do I want to play anymore?" Beckett's hand is two Shrine of Punishments. Like, what does he do here? Yep. Beckett's like, I feel like I should play it out because I'm in the win and in, but I don't know why I'm playing it out. Gets a Regirock. And we're going to see a Magma Ring for 40 damage, or yeah, 20 he's damage, gonna, he's sorry. do it again. Let's see if we can stall him out for another turn, but he's got the switch effect he's now. He's got Ultra. Maybe if he doesn't have any problem. energy in the discard, though. I guess if he has one energy in the discard, he could Ultra Road and, and then... The Vulpix and yeah, retreat. Yeah, use the Vulpix and retreat. Oh, can't retreat, can't retreat. Let's make sure we stop that. Yeah, they're good. All Looks right. like someone caught it right away. Yeah. He was like, but I want to. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's Now we're going to look for an energy in the discard, but I think Energy in the discard one. or he's max potion. One. Okay, so he does have it. He also has a Guzma in his hand. Beckett's thinking about... Oh, he's just Guzma. Yeah. Not even going to deal. Vulpix. This is exactly what you talked about. He's going to energy accelerate onto the Vulpix retreat. Or just Ultra Road. Oh, yeah, Ultra Road. Yeah, either one would have worked. And uh, take a knockout. One prize left for Aaron, six for Beckett. This is it. This this game is over. Unfortunately, yeah. the Appreciate road ends. Appreciate Beckett playing it out. <laughs> He's gonna. He can do a lot of damage with Magma Ring, so that's good. Mack him with the Magma Ring. He's like, I just did forty. We'll put the damage don't, on. Don't don't act play. like that wasn't real. All Aaron has to do now is use Ultra Road, send up the Vulpix, Geotech system to the Vulpix, retreat, and uh, that will be the game in his favor after a Giga Hammer. Can't retreat because of can't uh, retreat. no he's nope no he's good he's uh, ultra roading, oh. then attach. I thought he was retreating as well and there we go. Aaron Rucker so moves to 34 together. match points and with Metagross Sogalio is on the bubble for top eight. Uh, I really I hope feel, we get to see more.